Hi friends, in this lecture, let us discuss Boltzmann learning rule. This is the last learning rule out of five learning rules. So, coming to Boltzmann learning rule, the Boltzmann learning rule is a stochastic, stochastic learning algorithm. It's derived from the ideas from the statistical machines. So, a neural network designed based on this rule is called Boltzmann machine. And in Boltzmann machine, the neuron constitute a recurrent structure, that means feedback structure, and they operate in binary manner. That means if it is on, it will give you plus one. If it is off, it will give you minus one. So these are the main rules of Boltzmann machine. Maybe this is the description of architecture. Of course, the architecture has not been given, but this is the simple description of architecture that means it is a recurrent structure and they operate in binary manner so that if it is on state it will give you plus one if it is off state it will give you minus one next yeah this is the energy function we need to minimize this energy function and the machine is characterized by the energy function capital E is equal to minus one by two sigma j, sigma k, w k j, x k, x j, if j is not equal to k. That means it is it is having connection from j to j to neuron to k to neuron and w k j is the synaptic weight between these two neurons and we need to multiply that weight and we need to multiply the x k and we need to multiply the x j also. And it is clearly shown that actually the xj is the state of the neuron at j and wkj is the synaptic weight from j neuron to k neuron. j is it not equal to k, it shows that there is no self feedback. So it can give the feedback to any of the neurons except its own neuron. That's the thing in this Boltzmann machine. So coming to probability, why this probability comes into picture means this machine operates by choosing a neuron at a random value. So let k is at some step of a learning process, then flipping the state from xk to minus xk. That means maybe you can see it from xk for, for a neuron k from on state to off state, some temperature with probability is there and that probability from xk to minus xk is 1 by 1 plus exponential of minus delta ek by capital T. So this is the formula. Based on this formula only the probability lies. So where delta ek is the energy change and capital T is the pseudo temperature. If this rule is applied repeatedly, that means it is keep on changing like this, then the machine will reach the thermal equilibrium so that we can get the minimum of energy function. So now we need to discuss the types of neurons and its operation. The types of neurons are divided, categorized into two functional groups, visible and hidden. So visible neurons would they provide the interface between the neuron and the environment so obviously they, they those are called visible 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 neurons that means maybe input and output neurons so obviously they have the interface between network and the environment and coming to hidden neurons they are always operate freely so there are two modes of operation running based on these two neurons and they are clamped condition and free running condition Obviously, the clamped condition in which the visible neurons, visible neurons are all clamped down to specific states determined by the environment because the these neurons are interface between the network and the environment. So, environment will decide the states of the these neurons. And coming to free running conditions, condition in which all the neurons are allowed to operate free. That means obviously hidden neurons will come into picture here. And coming to the next, these are the different operations going on in the Boltzmann machine. 
coming to the weight of upgradation okay let us consider rho kj plus is the correlation between the states of j and k in its clamped condition and rho kj minus is the correlation between the states of j and k in its free running condition both the correlations are averaged in its thermal equilibrium whenever the neuron is in thermal equilibrium then these two are averaged and according to boltzmann machine the change in weight is w delta w k j is equal to eta into rho k j plus minus rho k j minus where eta is the learning rate and rho k j plus and rho k j minus are the values running from minus 1 to plus 1 so this is the complete explanation of boltzmann machine or boltzmann learning rule thank you if you like this video please like it and if you want to share this video please share with your friends and colleagues and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and after subscription please touch on the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any new video thank you thank you